Mary Hudson. Nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure, pleasure to be here, Kayla. All right, so I've been keeping up all this energy bottled inside, so can we just get right on to it then? Get with it. All right. I always like to start off with some basic questions to get you warmed up into the inter interview process. Is that right? Yeah. Let's go. Right, let's go. So let's begin with the early years, if you have okay with you. Fortunately, Kayla, I'm a bit foggy in the early years. After all, I was born in the 1570s. Can you blame them? But I do recall was that I was born in London, England. My grandfather may have been a London alderman. Very interesting. I am from a well-respected and seafaring family. Wow, that is really interesting. But um, how did you learn your craft? Well, I learned from other sailors. And I taught myself the rest. That is really very impressive, Mr. Yes. Hudson. I know. Is it okay if I call you Hudson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> is it okay if I call you Wilson? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know you were um, the captain, <laughs> but um, how many voyages were there all together? I was the captain of four voyages. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, what did you sail for? For those four voyages. On my first two and my last end voyage. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We're sorry. I, I, I sailed for um, I sailed for England. And for my Third voyage, I sailed for. I sailed with Indies, Indies East Dutch Company, which is Dutch. Okay. Yes. Um. Why well, explore? What were, what were you looking for? Water? No, Kayla. <laughs> I was not looking for water. Oh, I thought you fooled me then. Well, I was looking for the. I was looking for. I was looking for a faster, safer route to the Orient. Okay. I wanted to get rich, baby. I wanted to get. I wanted to get the well. I wanted to get the spices, the gold. I could make a fortune. But wouldn't that be the easy thing to do? That'd be the awesome thing to do. Instead of having to wake up at 6 a.m. every morning. Oh, just trying to find gold in the middle of nowhere. Boring. <laughs> Okay, um, but though you never did find the passage or the Orient, um, what else did you explore or look for? Well, on my third voyage, I was exploring around Maine, and I sailed down to Cape Cod, which is in Massachusetts. And I sailed down a little more to New, uh, and I discovered New York, which is the, uh, the state next to Connecticut. I. New, and I discovered New York for, for Holland. I sailed up the river and up to is now known as Albany. Albany is actually the capital of New York, for those who do not know that. It's an interesting fact. Um, okay. Um, uh, well, that's a lot of exploring of New York. <laughs> yeah, sure was. So, um, while you're on those four voyages, um, did you ever come across Problems? Kill okay, the list is endless. Like the things I have to do. Uh, well, I'll just tell you the most four most important ones. Okay, okay. Icebergs hit the ship sometimes and block the path. Like Titanic, except they didn't sink. Oh, lucky them. Whales bumped against the side of the ship. Those whales. Boom, <laughs> boom.
um, sailors, um, it means they don't listen to the person who's in charge. In this case, the captain. Him. Moi. Okay. And, um, and they take over. Okay. And so, in my case, in my case, in my case, it was that they were those, really the, cr the crew member. It's a really hard topic. <laughs> my case again. Go. The crew was very cold. Well, I got scared, what a surprise, by the cold and the lack of the food. Oh. They wanted to go home. What did that mean, buddy? I was determined. Very. Determined to go find, you know, what I wanted. Right, exactly. A, a passage. And the rich. So, so they just mutinied on me like that. So they put him on a boat with his son. Well, mm, they his put son. me on a boat with my son, John. I have a child. And my I son, John. And seven other loyal souls. Sailors! <laughs> okay, apparently he was in the army now. <laughs> anyway. Okay, uh, anyway. Um, so you never heard from him again, basically. That's right. Alright. Um, so tell us, Mr. Hudson, what happened in those final hours? That really threw stuff your brain, would it? Uh, you know what, what? It's the most anticipated question of the hour. Well, Kayla. Come on. That, that's what keeps it really interesting, so I don't want to give it away. Can't blame me for trying. Dang nabbit. <laughs> Dang nabbit. We're going to talk <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, um, can I see some of the, Do you have anything else you'd like to bring up with us? Um. Well, Hudson. We have named a lot of things after you, after you were gone. After you died, no way. After you died, we named uh, rivers, like the Hudson River in New York, um, some straits, like the Hudson Strait, and we also have, excuse you, um, you're dead. Oh, uh, we have some Hudson Rivers, all that kind of stuff after you. All these memorials, statues, you're truly an important piece of our history of finding parts of New York. That's a fabulous idea, Kayla. It's not like show the uh, anyway. Show them the pictures. Thank you, uh, Henry Hudson and our loyal uh, watchers for your time. And also for you and that long time uh, machine to get here. Thank you, Kayla. You're very welcome. Next time we'll be um, showing Francisco Bazaar on his discovery of Peru. So don't go anywhere, because next up is the Dutch. Peace out. Dear Kathy, where should I begin? The ice is setting in, my luck is running thin And I'm feeling so alone Dear Kathy, the winter storm